I am therapist and holistic nutritionist Jazz Robbins and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so thrilled that I've got the opportunity to spend this time with you. As you know, we are tackling mental health issues that kids deal with, that adolescents deal with, that teens deal with, and they just aren't talked about enough. So I'm so glad that I have the chance to start this dialogue. I'm not your therapist, but I am hoping that I'm able to offer you some information, some insight, and some love through these segments. If this is your first time joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. I urge you and encourage you, once you're done with this one, go back and watch our previous segments. I don't want you to miss out on any of the juicy, helpful, and necessary information that we've discussed up until this point. As you know, singer-songwriter Grace Gostad has released new music and the album is titled Black Box. This week, we have Learning to Love Me. My favorite lyric is, I'm not better yet, but I work on it every day. This song tackles self-worth and self-esteem. And I love this lyric because for me, it talks about learning to love and learning to appreciate that reflection in the mirror. And that can be a hard, hard process when you've not liked the reflection in the mirror for so long and for so many years. This week, I wanna to talk to you about self-love. Now, self-love from the outside looking in, it looks like as a society, as a world, that we have it all figured out. We're all meditating, we're all doing daily hikes, we're getting our vegan treats, there's a new brand of yoga pants coming out every single week. We've got this on lock. Wrong. <laughs> we don't got this on lock. We don't have self-love the way that we truly, truly, truly need it. Because if we did, many of us wouldn't be acting out in the ways in which we are, toward ourselves and toward other people, quite honestly. In one of my books, when I talk about self-love, I use the metaphor of a treasured item, a gift. If you can think about or imagine a time when you've received something that you really, really valued from somebody else. Maybe it was the price tag on it, maybe it was the level of sentiment on it, but for whatever reason you valued this item. What comes to mind for me are sports enthusiasts who keep jerseys in maybe like a glass case. I have family members that have fine china stored away for a special occasion that never happens, but they're waiting for that special occasion and that fine china just does not get breathed on. I have friends who spent money on cars that people might spend on a home and they don't want any, not even so much as a speck of dust to fall on this treasured item. Maybe for you, it's a nice pair of shoes that you saved, saved up for. Maybe it's a handbag. Maybe it's something that a grandparent gave to you that's just really sentimental. How do you treat those treasured items? We protect them, we guard them, we honor them, we respect them, we clean them. We want them to remain in pristine condition because they mean so much to us. That's how we treat those treasured items. Here's my question for you. What if, follow me, what if you were your, were your, what if, follow me, what if you were your own treasured item? What if? How would you respect you? How would you honor you? How would you love and cherish you? How would you put you on a pedestal? How would you guard and protect you? How would you treat your entire personhood if you really saw you as a treasured item? Who would you not allow in your space? Who would you gravitate to? How would you guard everything about your values, your heart, 
in your core, if you saw you as a treasured item. Now that's self-love. Daily hikes, yep, that's awesome. But what if you treasured you? That's what this song is giving us. It's talking about learning to love the person within. Never mind the exterior. Never mind the representative that we post on social media. The actual person within. But how do you get there? How do you even get to know the person within when that person has been so far out of our reach for so long? Do you know where it starts? With quiet time, with self-reflection, and with moments that we're able to really connect with the person that we've always been. Even though we've shown up differently in certain spaces, Remember that whisper that I talked about? When we connect, reconnect with that whisper, we can begin to realize that we're worthy. We're worthy to be our own treasured item. That's the kind of self-love that I want for you. Oh my gosh, I want it so bad because when you got it, when you actually, actually got it, you do everything to protect it. The same way that that jersey is kept in that glass case, you treat you that way when you tap into self-love. And it is incredibly amazing, incredibly amazing. It's a journey that you have to walk alone, but let me tell you, there's nothing like having a partner, nothing like it. And if you're sort of grappling with where to start, I want to love myself, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know where to start. Connect with a peer that gets it and that maybe is perhaps on the same journey. Connect with an adult that can help you navigate this path. If you have neither, reach out to Teen Line. Teen Line is a hotline that's for teens by teens. It's the very hotline that I worked on when I was in high school. And the folks answering the calls, they are trained to get you through this moment of crisis and to connect you with long-term resources. Let me tell you, your journey to self-love is an amazing journey and I want you to have that gift. You are so deserving. If you only do it for me, reach out because this this is about to be really exciting and I want you to have it. Let's take a look at our tool for the week. I hope you have your index card. So for this week, I've got taste and think. What's that about Jazz? Well, we're back to our senses and I want you to come up with three things that are pleasing to your palate, taste, right? Three things that when you eat them, they're calming, or they even bring back perhaps a pleasant memory. Maybe it's something that your grandma used to cook for you and you're just like, oh, this reminds me of home when I eat it. It reminds me of my gram when I eat it. Maybe it's just a bowl of ice cream that you need. Asterisk, this can be a slippery slope. Hear me well. I'm not saying that we're eating our emotions and I don't want us to slip into something that's not healthy for our bodies. But I tell you what, there's nothing like something comforting on a cold day, on a warm day, or when I'm just ha having a yucky day, nothing like it. And in terms of think, I want you to jot down at least three, five would be great, but thoughts that when you think on these things, when you reminisce or when you reflect on these things, they brighten your mood. They inspire you, they motivate you, they encourage you, or they just excite you. They could be memories, they could be uh, scenes from a movie or a TV show that when you think about it, it just makes you laugh. It could be a moment that you shared with friends or with loved ones. But when you think about these thoughts, they bring forth a positive emotion. 
I want you to jot down three to five of those. Put those in your toolbox, keep them at the ready because you can pull those up anywhere. Make sure you do that this week. I am therapist and holistic nutritionist, Jazz Robbins. I want you to know that you are worthy, you matter, and you deserve to experience the full awesomeness that your life has to offer. We only have a few more weeks. I hope you'll join me, but until next time, bye-bye.